Good morning, happy Friday. There we go, I'm getting my tech in order. Getting my link out to my text group. So if you wanna join my text group, just text me um, at 860, hang on, let me get, <laughs> I need an assist, where's my assistant? All right, let's grab this link, bring it over so everybody knows that I am gonna show you something really, really cute today. One of my favorite ornaments to make, and I did not think of it. My number, if you wanna text me and be in my text group, text hello, text add me, whatever you like to text me, as long as it's not naughty, <laughs> is 860-385-6369. I'll let you know when I go live. I won't text you early in the morning or after, man, after six at night. Good morning, Barb and Brenda. Thanks for joining me. I think you guys are really gonna love this ornament. You, you probably know about it. So I follow a woman, her name is Kathy Holden, H-O-L-D-E-N, and it's C, C, C for Kathy, not a K. Good morning, Shannon. Flowers and sunshine. Thanks for joining, you guys. You're gonna love this one. So Kathy Holden, I've been following her for years. She does some really cool mixed media stuff. And I found this ornament, of course, on Pinterest when I was looking for ornaments. I used to have a subscription box, the Merry Makers um, Ornaments of the Month box. And let me tell you, it was the one box I had, because I had another one for barn quilts, that was growing, but I couldn't scale it. I couldn't grow it because I would use like real vintage tins and things and you can't scale that and I didn't even think about it. Hey, Danielle, good morning. Smiles and flowers. So um, anyway, this was one of the ornaments that I was thinking about putting in my box. And look at, look at how sweet this is. I'm having a really sunny day. I tried to put all my lights, but it's like competing with Mr. Sunshine out there. But here's a little thread. This is vintage thread that came off of this spool. Nest that I kind of planted between these twigs that I went out this morning and just grabbed um, from my yard. Brenda's saying that she sells on Zulily. Yep. I bet she does. Hey, Flippin, that's Tammy, everybody, from Flippin Furniture. Isn't this sweet? Look at this ornament. I'm gonna put pictures up of all the stuff we made this week because it's just not doing it any, any justice, especially in my lighting today. I may need to put up, like I said, some kind of an organza, some light filtering um, shade, but we're gonna make this little thread nest and I have spun uh, cotton eggs and just twigs and some old spools. And, and, and Tammy's saying, of course it's vintage. Is it also from France? <laughs> Actually, Tammy, the, the um, thread is made in the United States, Coates and Clark, right? And we used to have a lot of thread mills in Connecticut. The eggs, though, Tammy, are made in Germany. These are little spun cotton eggs, and I'm going to show you how I paint them, and they're covered in German glass glitter. So how cute is that, right? And honestly, I would put this out at Easter. I made a bunch of little spool ornaments, and I would put them around together in a grouping, and they were really, really sweet. But look at how cute that is, right? And of course... I'm going to add, you know, at a later time because this is going to take long enough, but you can add, you know, once this glue dries clear, you can add some other little things. I have, um, I have a bunch of these little pine cones that I tipped in white paint. You could add little pine cones at the bottom and put around some pretty lace or glittery stuff. This is not the right color, but I can add a little bow of that Italian ribbon, Tammy. <laughs> but you could do anything you want. You could put paper. 
that's what we did in the Merry Makers is we decoupaged paper, vintage paper, music paper around the base. But it's so much fun. Isn't it cute? I mean, could you just die how cute this? And the pine cone, right, Tammy? It does. It looks really sweet with like a little pine cone. And of course, I would have to put glitter on that. So let me show you how I did this. And, and the other thing I wanted to show you quickly, these are those little, these are Swedish, Tammy. <laughs> But they're little vintage, um, what did they call these? I kept, look at this, the directions. A continental mold set, right? And I and they're for making petty fours. And I know Tammy is super into tea parties and making petty fours and stuff. And hors d'oeuvres, right? Hors d'oeuvres. But look, it has the recipes. Could you just die? I just love this. Good morning, Sandy from Michigan. How are you? Tammy is saying, of course. They <laughs> but look at this. How much fun is this? This I did not cut this from the box. It was in the bag when I bought these. But you can make little cookies that you would put in these molds. So I had to say that. And I totally love the illustration. That's Tammy jumping for joy when her tea party guests arrive, right? <laughs> Tart tins. Thank you, Brenda. But look at these. You can make your little nest and put it into a tart tin, right? And then put the little eggs in the tart tin and hang that from your tree along with glitter and whatever you want, else you want to put in there. And let me tell you, these come in so many different shapes and sizes. Um, and I've got some really old ones. Look at this fish. It looks like a Swedish fish, fish that can be. But I love these. All right. Now, let me tell you how we make this. Because Kathy Holden, and for the life of me, of course, I can't remember um, the name of her business. Oh, it, it makes me crazy. And I've been following. I just know her by her name. But check her out. I take the thread like this, right? And I just hold it in my hand and pull it off into a pile. Now, my eggs are pretty big. She had much smaller eggs. I could not find those smaller eggs. But I just do this and I create a pile of thread, right? And then I just break it. And I have to tell you, I have got just containers and boxes of old wooden spools, um, thread, old thread. I just have tons. The way I do it is I take this kind of little rat's nest nest, and then the way Kathy does it is she rolls this around her fingers like this, okay? And I'm actually combining the two. So after I kind of roll this around my fingers. I'm just kind of forming it into a nest. Like if I was a bird, this is what my nest would look like. It wouldn't be super organized. Is it Primitives by Kathy Holden? <gasps> hey, Maria. See Maria Hatfield? Aren't they cute? Um, oh, and Barb, you're on Facebook or are you on YouTube? That's what happens when I when I stream to Facebook and YouTube, people can't see. It doesn't cross post the comments. I'm not sure if it's primitives by Kathy. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do after this. I'll put a link in my um, in the comments. This is how Kathy makes her ornaments. I mean her nest, really super organized. And I combine the two because again my eggs, the eggs that I found and I'll show you how they come, are much bigger than the ones that she had in the tutorial. And then I just put them together like this to make a sweet little nest, right? Just like that. Okay, we'll put that aside. And I think I'm gonna use, like this one, I don't have any of the, um, I didn't leave any of the thread on the spool because it actually came from another spool. So for this one, I think I'm gonna use this spool so that it will have twigs, but 
right? And the nest will be up in the twigs, but the thread around the spool will be the same as the thread up in the nest. <laughs> Barb is laughing. I'm so glad that we get together and have a good time like this and laugh. I watched one of my lives the other day and I was, I was really chuckling. That's all I have to say. I was having a good time. So let's put our nest aside and our spool. And for these little eggs, the eggs come like this, right, in an envelope. And this is them without any paint. And I just take a toothpick and put it underneath, just like this. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I think I've shown you this ornament before, but I'll show it again. I also have a little show and tell. And I just do this. I put a hole in my um, cardboard to stand up the eggs, or you can use, like I have a piece of wax paper over here. Just lay them down on the wax paper, that's fine. I think I showed you guys this once before. This is one of my favorite ornaments. It's a little Christmas stocking sewn from an antique quilt. And boy, this is old. This is 1800s we're talking. I could tell just by the fabrics. But isn't this sweet? And I got it at a craft fair. Um, it wasn't the Country Living. It was another one. But I love it. And this woman would buy up all these old, you know, really, really decayed, beyond usable, beyond anything quilts and make this. So, and I've never seen her again. Isn't it precious? Tammy, and Tammy, these are your colors, right? Tammy loves earth tones, lots of texture, but isn't that sweet? And I keep it up all year round. Oh, Cheryl, hey there. So glad you love the project. Absolutely. So the easiest thing to do now, I, I took out my Lake Como Nights because it's like a really soft Robin's egg blue. And I'm just going to paint. I've got my towel way over yonder. I just paint the eggs like this. You just hold them like this and paint. Really easy. Just like that. And if you have like that florist foam or a piece of styrofoam that came like in a delivery, you could use, you could kind of put these right down into that to let them dry. Whatever works for you. I'm just going to lay it down on some wax paper and do this one. Same thing. And if you really want to get fancy, Tammy, you can get some like gray brown paint, make a little wash, and then splatter your eggs. You know, give them a little splatter and um, they'll look like real authentic songbird eggs. Okay, same thing. Let it dry. Put your brush in some water. It is totally you, Tammy. Tammy, hey Renee, hello, thanks for joining. Tammy loves, you know, everybody you follow, people you you love, whoever they are, you know, painters, whoever, designers, friends, right? You go to their home and you could see, you know, they have a certain palette, right? I love that. Tammy hat loves her earth tones and lots of texture, really beautiful texture. So I associate that with her. So don't be afraid to use what you love, you guys, and decorate with what you love. Right, Tammy? I mean, if you love neon brights, go to town, right? That's what I always say. So now that we've got the eggs painted, we have to glitter them because, you know, we have to glitter. You got to add a little bling, right? So I have a little bowl to hold underneath. And all I do, grab my glue brush, dry that off, and I've got um, Elmer's. This is what I use to glitter. This is what I always use. I've used it for years and years and years. Elmer's glue. And I assume the school glue is just the regular old Elmer's glue. 
So you just take that glue and just paint your egg just like this. And then let me grab my glitter. I don't have my silver spoon with me right now. The one I wasn't born with in my mouth. <laughs> but I love, I have an old sterling spoon that I love to use for this. I like to glam it up whenever possible. All right, I just take some glitter in my hand. This is German glass glitter. We don't let little kids play with this. And um, save your glitter. You don't wanna just you know let it go everywhere. And you just do that. And don't let it go on the floor like I did the other day and I walk around barefoot and guess where it went? <laughs> Tammy! Tammy, wouldn't the little, I have done the little splattered eggs and they are super adorable. Oh, dar my darling brought me, okay, Tammy's going to lay off. Thank you, darling. <laughs> That's my husband, you guys. I have a new obsession, and it's really bad, and I'll tell you in a second after I tell you about my glittered egg. He won't come on camera. He's My darling is very shy, but look at this glittered little egg. How sweet is that? Is this why they do that? You put your hand under so it could focus. How adorable is that? Same thing, let it dry on some wax paper. And, and you can even, Tammy, you can even splatter before you do the glitter and it looks really sweet. And Tammy's saying glitter is the herpes of the craft world. <laughs> it is, it is. It goes everywhere, it's really bad. And she's rolling her eyes about my silver spoon. But as I said, I, it's the one I wasn't born with, right? Rick will not come on. And I'm jealous because Tammy's husband will do some crafts with her, you know, some painting, creating. Rick, who does all my woodworking, will not come on. He's, a, he's very, very sweet. And by the way, we call each other darling. It started off as a joke. And now we actually call each other darling all the time. But these are the little glittered eggs, so you've got to let those completely dry. And let me tell you quickly, you're going to die. I never do this. I hate the plastic cup and everything, but I'm addicted. Jesse, good morning. Thanks for joining. I am obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts' new drink. It's a brown sugar drink that is incredible. I don't have them add sugar. It's just like the brown sugar on top. It's so delicious that I've become obsessed with this drink. It's really bad. And I'm not one of those Starbucks people that go, never. I just normally just have my, my French press coffee in the morning with some milk in it. But oh my God, you guys, this is so good. It's brown sugar and cinnamon, which I love. I love, love, love. So he brought me one as a little surprise. So now that we have our eggs done, enough about me and my obsessions. When you're done with your glitter, you just put it right back in the container and zip that closed. Because as Tammy said, described in her way, it will go everywhere and it's a nightmare. So now, let me see. Here is the spool that I'm going to use. And I went out this morning and I got some twigs. And you need kind of skinny twigs. I just went out, I collected like all these sticks that came down in the last windstorm. And I'm gonna use tight bond glue, bond, yeah, tight bond glue for this. You can use a glue gun. I have had very bad luck with glue guns. I don't know why, I have a bunch of them. I've tried every kind of glue stick but it always seems to disengage from the surface, like it'll pop off. And I think, Tammy, I think I saw you describing that once. I don't know what it is. Shannon, is French press fancy coffee? <laughs> if I use a French press, of course, right, Tammy? <laughs> I don't use a percolator or a coffee maker. I've used a French press since I was in my 20s. And one of my first jobs, and if you're from New England, you'll know this, I, I worked at Best Eaten Donuts, and I got really addicted to coffee. And Best Eaten Donuts had really good coffee. 
So I'm gonna use tight bond glue for this, but you can definitely, if you have good luck with a glue gun, use a glue gun. I just can't make it happen and I don't know why. So I'm gonna take, I've got three different sticks here. We kind of want like a little bit of, of the crotch of the, um, Jesse saying yes with an exclamation point. We wanna be able to put our nest, and you can test this, you know, like in the crotch of some branches, but you want it, you don't want it to look like the, t the nest is tipping when you do this because it'll make everybody nervous that's, that are looking at your little ornaments. All right, Tammy's saying, yes, I may use a glue gun for instant glue, but also tight bond for long lasting. <laughs> and yes, she did mess, miss my French press comment. <laughs> Listen, I like to feel fancy in the morning, afternoon, at night, right? And I'm joking, you guys. I hope you know that because I just, I die laughing when, um, when Tammy and I and... Um, Joni of Weathered Wings talk and wait till you guys hear our podcast, uh, we certainly have a sense of humor, right? And we kind of poke each other a little bit. So anyway, I want to put this in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one. And this is what you have to play around with. Maybe this one. Yeah, I like that. So you see how that sits, right, right there. So what I do, stand up your spool and grab your tight bond. And my, it looks like mine is starting to dry. And just blob it on, or if you have that glue gun. The other thing I like about glue for sure is that it shrinks, right? It shrinks down. Um, and I mean type on, not the glue gun. The glue gun will leave like a little kind of lozenge of glue. And I just put that on there and shove that right down like that. Now, if you see like mine is starting to lean forward a little bit, you can turn it so it moves away and let it dry, like lay it down the way you want it to go and let it dry, okay? I am gonna add, I had another little skinny piece right here. I'm gonna add this in just to kind of, you know, add a little bit more branches so it looks like an actual little tree. And I'm dipping that in my tight bond and just putting that right down in there just like that. So there is, no, I don't need to see that. There it is. It fits perfectly in that crotch. <laughs> is this Naughty Friday? <laughs> well, you know, you think about the, you know, the crotch of a tree, right? The branches. <laughs> That's what she said. Tammy! Oh my God, what could we call this when you get naughty on Friday? We have to think about an F word, right? No, not an F word. You know what I mean. Something that means naughty, but that starts with an F. Good heavens. Tammy's saying, I better quit commenting before I get asked to leave. <laughs> oh, we're all adults here. Let me tell you, these ladies, we have so much fun. Um, every time I go live, I'm laughing. Because everybody here has a really good sense of humor. I love that. So there, there's our little tree. Now, if I were doing this at home and not on camera, I would let this dry, absolutely, before I did the next step. But we don't have that time. So what I'm going to do, and I didn't, I have to, I have to um, glitter a second, and this is really fast. I'm going to glitter a second egg. I don't know why I thought I already did that. So I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue and open that up and put that down 
I've got a little cardboard palette over here. Close that up and we'll just quickly, F is for fun, Kim, <laughs> Frisky, Fluster Friday. Oh, you guys see, you guys are the best. F is for fun Friday, Frisky Friday, Fluster Friday. I like F word Friday, Kim says. You guys, Freaky Friday. Oh, I love this. You know what, I'm gonna pick one of those. <laughs> Oh, hey, Cynthia, good morning. Oh, I'm so glad you like this. And you're saying I'm clever? I didn't think of it. I was clever to find Kathy Holden, I'll tell you. I love her stuff. But isn't it, isn't it the cutest? And I've got a lot of spools, let me tell you. So I love making spool ornaments. All right, quickly, quickly, we're going to put some glitter on this now. Oh, I love all those F words. All right, there we go. I'll put this down just for a sec. Put our German glass glitter back in there. And what I like to do with this is put my eggs in first and then glue it to the branches, into the crotch of the branches, right? So I'm going to take my little eggs and please be careful if you if, this is truly glass glitter right so you don't want to get this little slivers so you just want to be really careful with this and if you find that it's going into your skin now Tammy and Kim I know you guys have very delicate skin you can wear gloves you could just wear rubber gloves and um, touch your glitter pieces that way it won't go into your skin all right I'm going to put out a little bit more of my tight bonds. Kim, put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> and Tammy's saying, I will never look at a tree the same way again. <laughs> I've always said, you guys, that I have a sense of humor like a 14-year-old boy. It's bad. I love all those crazy movies. Okay, so there's our little nest. It's so sweet. And I'm gonna take my egg and I'm gonna dip it into the tight bond, right? And let me move this so you can see. And not the whole thing, I'm just gonna dip one part in and put that in like that, right? And then grab the other one. And if you can, if you guys can find the smaller, and I do that at kind of different angles, if you fantabulous Friday, oh, I like that, Cynthia. I love all those, those words. I'm going to have to write them down and pick one of them. Tammy's like, I ain't no delicate flower. <laughs> ah, too much fun. But if you can find those smaller eggs, these are kind, these are probably three quarters of an inch you can add like three in so you have a nice little grouping. But look at how sweet that is, right? Then what I do, take my brush, my glue brush, and I just put the glue into the crotch of the branches, right? There it is, right there. I wonder, Kim is saying, I wonder if Martha had to put up with a crowd like this. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Maybe in jail. <laughs> Tammy, Kim. I know, would Martha put up with this? Oh, I don't, you know, she's pretty serious. I love Martha Stewart. Um, but I think as she's gotten older, She's gotten, she's becoming like more fun. Um, but she's, I've heard she is pretty, pretty serious lady. Maybe I need to really buckle down like Martha. Kim saying, wah ha ha ha. <laughs> and everybody, Kim, farmhouse craft, no, farmhouse craftaholics, right? 
So you guys, if you want to follow these funny, funny, funny ladies that are joining today, it's Tammy of Flippin' Furniture, Kim Rutherford of Farmhouse Craftaholics, right? And Tammy is saying Martha would straight up ignore it. She probably would, right? She would just kind of walk on by. Kim is saying there's a reason she pre-records, absolutely. But Tammy, right, now she's fun because she's hanging out with Snoop Dogg. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, it's kind of like that cat I put up, my cat Walter. He used to be very aloof and in his old age, he's getting very affectionate, right? Oh, Renee, thank you for sprinkling. You guys, I love that Renee did that. If you ever, and I, and I know as I grow my business, I'm supposed to ask for that. But feel free to sprinkle this about. I appreciate that. Thank you, Renee. Good luck with that, Chicky. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. All right, here's our little nest. And then I put it right, and I know it doesn't look like it's going to stick, but it does. I put it right there. And you've got to kind of balance this and press it down right into that spot just like that and the tight bond is great like it instantly kind of pulls it in oh shannon's saying she tried to put a crown on walter's photo but failed miserably oh no i'll see if i can do that that would be great because he is the king he is something else the dogs are afraid of him it is so funny but look at how sweet you guys look at how sweet that is so that's it. That's, that is the whole thing. And let me get this out of the way so you can see. So now with this one, you'll see the big difference is we've got that beautiful teal blue in the spool and also up as the nest. And in this one, I just have the plain wooden spool, right? A fancy crown. He needs a fancy crown. Like I said in the comments, right? He's a fancy boy for sure. That's it, look at how sweet these are, right? And these are open. When you get it to this point, you can sit, and like Tammy said, she really liked the little pine cone. Go out, I, I collect pine cones when I'm out and about. My local's Marshalls, you guys have Marshalls near you, it's like TJ Maxx. There are all these pine trees, like on one side of the parking lot, and I'm the crazy lady there with my bag, pulling them up from the ground, it's hilarious. But you can take these little pine cones and glue these on. Um, you can tie some thread, you know, around the base of the twigs here. You can put more glitter on. You can really have fun with these. Don't you love it, Jesse? I'm telling you. Isn't it cute, Renee? Kathy Holden is really, really, um, she's been doing this kind of things for year, years. I don't know what I would call this. I guess mixed media, right? We're using thread, wood, you know, all kinds of different things. But she comes up with all these great little ideas. And this is one of my favorites. And I really made a bunch of these. And look, how about at your Easter table, right? Make a bunch of these, or you could put one at each uh, plate like Tammy does, right? Give them a favor <laughs> at, each, at each setting, right? Hey, Deborah. Deborah says, I love this project. We'll definitely be creating this one for my sewing room. You know what? Deborah, I have a sewing room, right, that I'm working on and getting just buried in fabric. How adorable would this be? And you can make it for a friend that sews, but you could put this as decor around the room. And I wanted to tell you guys also because somebody asked me, well, how do you keep them, like if you make them for Christmas or holiday decorating, how do you store them, you know, through the year and then bring them out again? I actually have a shelf in my basement. I just put these down along with our birdhouse that we made in the painted cottage. Everybody make sure you join our group. I just put plastic, old plastic bags over them, pop them off when it's ready to display them, put them out. And when I put them away, I put a plastic bag over them. Absolutely. So that's it. Oh, clever cook store. Now I forgot your first name. Store. Um, this is because she's on YouTube and that's the name she's using. She's saying it's so cute and clever. Definitely going to do it. Everybody, if you do this, would you please share in the Painted Cottage 
Facebook group. Join and share pictures of your work. We would love that. All right, you guys, I'm going to hit the road. I am so happy that you all joined me today. I hope to see what you make because I can only imagine with all your creative minds what you'll do. And then post in the Painted Cottage Facebook group. Let us see it. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks for joining me.